Hello everyone and welcome back to this tutorial of MySQL. So MySQL is a type of database and uh, SQL in it stands for the Structured Query Language. Uh, now without wasting any further time, let's simply jump into the MySQL command line client and see how MySQL works. So let's start. The basic thing, the basic command in the MySQL is show databases. With the help of this command, you will be easily able to access all, I mean, you will be displaying all the databases available in your computer system. So I have then show databases and it has shown the name of the databases that are available. Now let's create our own database. So I will be writing create database and the name of the database. Let's example say the database should be a tutorial. Oh, we have an example tutorial two. So the database is created. Now let's see. So show databases. As you can see, our database has been created. Now let's access this particular database. So to access that, we will be writing the command use tutorial two. So it's the syntax is use and the database name. So as you can see, database changed. Now we are accessible to the tutorial tool. Now let's create a table inside. So I will write in create table. Uh, the name of the table should be, let's say books. Now the name of the field, uh, the one field will be author with the data type of varchar uh, and the maximum value 128. The second is title of the book. Uh, Will also be containing varchar and the varchar should be also having the maximum value of 128 characters so our table books has been created inside the database tutorial too <coughs> to describe the table use the command desc or you can simply write desc or id both will work describe uh, books and as you can see it has described the structure of our table so the first thing inside this is the field which will be displaying all the fields that are present inside this database the second as you can see is type this type will display the type of the the data type which this particular field will be having uh, and the third one is null and it's showing the value of yes. So this means the following field can have the null values. The key means uh, what type of key we are using inside for a particular field. We will be dealing with the key later. Uh, this default means that uh, whether uh, there is assigned any default value for the field or not. So we haven't assigned any default value yet. So it's showing null and the extra will display the extra information like uh, auto increment extra extra. So we have created that data type now. Sorry, the books uh, table now. So create. So now let's insert the values inside this. So it's insert into books, and the values are. So the first author will be J.K. Rowling, and she has written the book. The famous book Harry Potter. Mm, now let's add some more values like uh, the second author should be. Mm, I'm not getting any other let me search. So, uh, some books and their authors. So The first book is this The Paying Guest by Sir Walter. So let's add this. Paying Guest. Uh, what are some more? Uh, some easy names like Animal Farm by George Orwell. Let's 
so the name of the author is George what was the name of the author? George Orwell O-R-T-B-E-L-L and the book written by him is Animal Farm so as you can see we have inserted three data inside a books table now let's read all the data available there so select everything this asterisk means everything from the name of the table that's books so as you can see we have selected everything from books we have three authors that's jk rowling sarah waters george orwell and the title of their books so we are done with the create and creating the files now let's uh, update the da uh, table and after that we will be deleting it so these are the basic thread commands so let's get started with the update one so i will be writing update uh, the field name update table box set so as you can see my skill is just like simple english update table book set Uh, title is equal to now let's search for some word of uh, on internet to search it jk rowling has written another book that's fantastic beasts and where to find them so it's fantastic beasts and where to find them now i will be using a where clause so this where clause will inform the table that update the particular value where the name of the author is jk rowling so i will write where author equal to j k rowling so as i hit enter command it should uh, so I think I have made some error. Got the error, so it's update and simply the table name. So as you can see, quite okay, but were affected. So now let's see. Select everything from books, and here you can see that it has updated the value of the title and changed it from Harry Potter to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find. So we are done with the create, we are done with the read, we are done with the update. Now let's delete it. So I will be writing. So first we will be deleting this whole data of JK Rowling. So delete from uh, books where Uh, the title the author is equal to JK Rowling and hit enter and if now I select everything from this you can see the data of JK Rowling has been erased completely so this were these were the basic scred operation of mysql and now we will be using some of the more operations inside this uh the first one should be the let's say order by so now i will be using the order by command so the command simply will say that uh how to order by a table so if uh, example you are having values of 1 to 10 and you want to display it backwards so you will say order by descending so that's how the order by was so i will say select everything from books and order by and let's say author and as you can see c g comes before s the it has ordered it in, in such a way it is in the ascending order so if you want to order it in descending so you will say order by author and simply write d e s c this is not the describe this is the descending this time 
So now we can see the S comes before G and it's at the top of the database. We have done order by now we will be some key. So this is it. Hope you enjoyed everything. Subscribe for more.